Okay, so we've been looking at multiplying matrices, seeing if two things are really compatible or not from a, from a multiplication point of view. But now what I want to start thinking about are special matrices, matrices that are square matrices. So those are not rectangular kind of things, but in fact, they're matrices where the number of rows equals the number of columns. Those are called square matrices because they sort of are the shape of a square rather than sort of a long rectangle or something like this. Anyway, if you have a square matrix, you can actually associate with that collection of numbers, with that square of numbers, just one number that in some sense captures some essence of the aggregate. So the idea is you have this huge aggregate of numbers, and it's a square matrix. So it's like maybe 27 rows and 27 columns. You have this big thing. And what you can do is take that huge thing and associate with that co huge collection of numbers just one number. And that one number is called the determinant. So the determinant is just a number, or a scalar, if you want to think of it as a scalar. It's just a number that you can associate with any square matrix. So how in the world do you take a whole list of numbers and take that and make one number out? Well, I'm going to show you because it's sort of fun. Let's start with just two by two matrices. So suppose I have a matrix A, and it equals. And it's going to be 2 by 2. So 5, 3, 8, 5. Notice that's a square matrix because I have uh, two rows and two columns. So it's a square matrix. OK. Well, now if I want to compute the determinant, remember the determinant is just a number associated with this matrix. First of all, let me show you what the notation is. Some people use just DET of A. And that stands for the determinant of A. That stands for that special number that I'm going to tell you about in just a second. However, some people use the following notation. They just put sort of absolute values around it. It's a little bit uh, misleading in a way, because you might think, oh, it's the absolute value of A. But it's not. If A is a matrix, then if you see these bars around it, that means determinant of A. So actually, um, even though I tend to use this normally in life, since I have such a small little you know, screen here in front of you, I'm going to actually adopt this notation. But remember, it's not absolute value. It really is the determinant. It's the special number. Now, how do you actually go about finding that special number? Well, I'm going to tell you. With a 2 by 2 matrix, it's actually pretty fun. Because what you do is you take the product of this term with this term. So basically, you take this diagonal and you multiply those numbers together. And then you subtract the product of these two things. So what you do is you take this times this minus this times this. So it's sort of a cross thing. If you think about it with a 2 by 2 matrix, it's easy to see. You just sort of take across this and then minus that. So in this case, the determinant, so I'm going to use the symbol, determinant of A, equals 5 times 5 minus 3 times 8. And so that's 25 minus 24. And that equals 1. So in fact, the determinant of this particular matrix A is 1. So 1 is the number that I associate with this determinant. Great question to be thinking about now is, what does that mean to have determinant 1? What does that mean exactly? Well, we'll see exactly what that means. And we'll also see that, in fact, the determinant is a really important and useful tool. It really is useful, not just fake useful like we sometimes see. But first of all, I want us to get a sense of how to compute these things. So before I tell you exactly the meaning of 1, let's just make sure that we can, we can find some of these. Let's take another example, b. <clears throat> Suppose b equals 1 minus 4 to 10. What's the determinant of this? Well, why don't you try it right now, in fact? Because <clears throat> you see the pattern. You take this product and subtract this product. See if you can actually find the determinant of b right now. 